All right, hello. This is Aquarian Christianity. This is Mark. And um, I want to talk about a dream that I had. I'll see how much I can remember of it. I had it at 4.30 this morning. So it was last night. I was about 4.30, I woke up. And that is early for me. Um, got a Bible I want to read from. I want to read from the King James Version. The ironic thing is, see, this is what I got well, when I was eight years old. It says, presented to Mark Harris by First Bath Baptist Church, Roanoke, Virginia, December 17th, 1978. Uh, and the reason I want to use this is because it's King James. I've hardly ever used it. I think I used to carry it to church. I don't know why you give somebody that's... Um, eight years old, a King James Bible. I don't, I don't even know why you give somebody that's eight years old a, a, a Bible. Children don't read Bibles when they're eight years old. Uh, I want to look at Jeremiah. I had a dream of persecution. And uh, it was pretty, pretty rough. The police came uh, in my dream. And... Um, they kept lying about me. And they, they, they were talking about killing me. They said in 20 days he'll be dead. And I guess that's most what the dream was about. I don't know if, whether I can remember much more of it. Um, let's see. It was Jeremiah 23. He was complaining about false prophets and false dream and fake dreamers. Mine heart, this is, um, this, let me see, this is Jeremiah 30, 23, um, if you can see that, Jeremiah 23, and I looked this up on the internet about dreams, and it's what took, what made me realize that I need to tell my dream. <clears throat> It says in, in, in verse 9, My heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man and like a, drunk, and like a man whom, whom wine hath overcome. Because of I am and because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers. For because of swearing, the land mourneth. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their, cor and their course is evil, and their force is not right. That wasn't exactly what I was planning on reading. Um, I thought this was Jeremiah. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Oh, here it is. I have heard what the prophet said, that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I, I have, I, I dreamed, I dreamed. How long shall be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies, yea, prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. And this is what made me realize I need to tell this dream. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What the chaff, that's the leftover part of the wheat plant, or the leaves perhaps. What the chaff to the wheat saith I am. So he's saying, what's the point, what, you know, what do you want the chaff for when you've got the wheat? 
what 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 relationship has the chaff with the wheat and I'm hearing a lot of lies on YouTube about dreams and I hear hear lies from Benny Hinn and lies from people like that my dream was I was in church and I um, and they were lying about me and they were thronging me and telling lies about me and I said that's a lie and they'd say another lie I'd say that's a lie and this is why the truth is important because it can because lies can get keep people in trouble as has happened with me I think I'm supposed to be a child molester and a homosexual and also violent and insane none of these things are true they kept telling lies about me and I said that's a lie and they would tell and they would tell another lie about me and different people would tell lies about me I'd say that's a lie they would say something else I'd say that's a lie and I think they were pushing me I'm not sure about that I think they were pushing me and at first they wanted me to go into a woman's changing room and I was flying I was I was flying I was standing in the air and you know they wouldn't listen to me and they wouldn't they wouldn't change what they were doing I think they were trying to push me into a woman's changing room and I saw that I was dressed like a woman and they pushed me out of the church and got the police to get to, to arrest me and they were lying about me and that's what happens that's happened to me in real life they've lied about me and got me arrested and they arrested me and as I was going away somebody said in 20 days he'll be dead so that was the dream you know I just saw the wickedness of people at church it's why I don't go to church people at church are average people and that's not good enough for God God bless.